Alright escapers, it's Tom Rook here and welcome to a new video. So I've just been doing quite a lot of fishing and cooking. That is me at 78 fishing and 74 cooking right now, so I'm getting up there. But I have a bunch of clues that I want to do before getting into the video. Hopefully I can complete them all. So the next step in my clue takes me all the way to the Piscatorius Bank right up here. Now unfortunately I haven't done Swan Song yet. And I just checked, and one of the requirements for the Swan Song quest is one small favour. So, yep, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to have to do these quests at one point anyway, so I may as well do them now. One small favour, my ass. Okay, let's finish off this quest. And that is one small favour now complete. Now, this quest did suck, but it was definitely worth it because you get two XP lamps, giving you 10k XP each. I've also brought along my recipe for disaster antique lamp because these two should get me over 50. Right now I'm at 48 and I have 3k till I level up, so let's use these on hair blower. So, that got me to 49. This one should get me to 50, definitely. Boom, 50 hair blower. And time to use my recipe for disaster lamp. 20k hair blower XP. 52 hair blower, I can now make super energy potions. Tremendous. For the Swan Song quest, I need to have 10 mist and 10 lava runes. And I don't have any of the other talismans apart from the air one. But I was just checking on where I can get myself other talismans. And it turns out the best place to get talismans are actually the wizards just south of Falador. They have a 1 in 20 drop chance each of dropping the retrospective talismans. They're only level 13 too, so it should be nice and easy. Alright, here I am. I'm going to start a timer and see how long it takes me to get all three. I need to get a water, fire, and an earth one. Oh, there we go, stop the timer. That took four and a half minutes to get all three talismans. That was actually really nice and easy. To make the lava runes for Swan Song, I need to have 23 rune crafting, and I only have nine right now. But, I'm going to go speak to the king right now and finish off the Eyes of Gloth request, and this should get me... 23 room crafting. There we go, it got me from 9 all the way to 24, and now I can make the lava runes. And here we go, there are. Ah, uh, only gave me 9, I need 10. <laughs> oh well, back to the bank I go. And that is the Swan Song quest now complete. Now I'm gonna go do that clue step, and hopefully I don't get a wildy step or something next. Alright, time to see if I can do this clue. And the next step is, yes, I can actually do this one. I need to go into the wilderness, but it's not really a big deal. Time to enter the wilderness. This is really not that risky because you're so low in the wilderness. Okay, can I do the next step of this clue? I am so far on step three. This will be the decider. Yes, I can do it. Okay, this could be the last step of the clue. And it's not, okay. Please don't be wilderness. Yes, okay, yes, another easy one. Okay, last step, give me the casket, please. <gasps> it is casket time, okay. Time to open this hard casket. Give me something good. <gasps> oh, black dehyde body and a white cavalier. Nice, oh, that was definitely worth it. Yes, I finally got some black dragon hide. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to work towards getting my black mask. And the only requirements I need to do the quests is 47 prayer. So whenever I had a blue dragon task, I would bank the bones. And now I have 174. I've already got 27 bone mealed up. So this should get me well over the 47 prayer that I need. Because that's only two levels. So I'm hoping this will get me to maybe 50. That would be nice. And what do you know? It actually got me all the way to level 50. I don't actually have enough bones to get another level up. So I'll just go and do the quest after these. 65 farming and I can now do his spory. So whilst I was fishing monkfish I got myself a bunch of clues and now I've got all the caskets so we'll start with the beginner one and nothing and then we'll go to the easy, medium and then the hard. Oh, black dehyde legs. That's me got the full set of dragon hide now. The top and the bottom. Oh this is great. That is rum deal now complete. Now all I need to do is cabin fever and then I can work on getting my black mask. There we go, now I can go and kill cave horrors and get myself a black mask. So here we are at cave horrors. 
my last account, I think I got a black mask quite early. I think it was around the 200 mark. So hopefully I get that luck on this account. These guys use a melee magic attack, so it was really good timing getting the black dragon hide. But I might end up actually getting 70 strength here if I don't get it early. So right after this, I might be going to get a dragon defender. And the reason I have this tile marked is this area is quite AFK. There's usually quite a few cave horrors hanging around. It's not that AFK though at my level. As you can see, I get hit quite a lot. And these guys could easily kill you if you weren't paying attention. Ooh, a clue scroll. Um, yeah, I'm just going to drop that right now. See if I can do this one at least. Um, Mystic hat, bone spear, and a rune plate body. Yeah, I can actually do this one. I don't have the Mystic Hat, but I can boost my magic with a Wizard Mind Bomb and buy one from the Wizard's Guild. Now, where is he? Yeah, it's the guy with the magic cape on. And how much is it? 15k, that's really cheap. Okay, time to go do this clue. In the Haunted Woods. Yes, I can do this one. Evil Dave, this may be the last step on the clue. Oh, what is that? Oh, another step, and it is Faldor Park. Do I have the music? Hmm, I don't. Okay, so the place I need to unlock this music track is right here in the Water Birth Dungeon. So if I drop the pet rock here, and I stand here, and then open the door, as soon as I go through the door, I should unlock the music track. And yeah, there we go, Subterranea. This might be the last step of this clue. Fingers crossed that it is. Oh, another step. Can I do this one? Speak to the examiner at the exam centre. Yes! Okay, this... I think this has definitely got to be the last step. I think six steps is as long as it can go. Give me the casket. Ah, oh, puzzle box. Okay. Yes, okay. Time open it. Oh, Bandos dehyde body. This is huge for the account. What the hell? Ah. Oh. What the fuck? I was not expecting to get something so rare. <laughs> so this is the last upgrade for my range body until like, what, Armadile or something, so... This is huge! <gasps> oh, oh. Oh. I got the black mask, yes. Oh, this took so long. Right, let's get out of here. But this took me well. So it's a 512 drop chance and I got mine in 541. So not too much above the drop rate, but... It was a long time in there. So the black mask gives you a 15% bonus to your melee, which is your attack and strength. But if you imbue it in Nightmare Zone, it'll give that 15% to magic and range as well. So I'm going to go off to Nightmare Zone right now. It looks like I'm going to be getting 70 strength when I'm in Nightmare Zone. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break when I get 70 and then go to the Warriors Guild and get myself a Defender. Okay, that's enough tokens for now. I think a thousand will do me at least a few defenders, unless I get really unlucky. Damn, my time is up and I've killed 200 Cyclopses and I've only got the bronze defender from 1k tokens. This sucks. My RNG has not been on my side today. Oh, nothing. Okay, so I'm going to go get myself another 1k tokens and hopefully get more than one defender. There we go, 60 defense. I started here at 53 defense on this defender grind, and I've already managed to get myself 60 already. That is nuts. Well, I think I'm just gonna start training more strength then. Oh, and I have used about 1.4k tokens, and I'm only at the steel defender right now. <gasps> yes, the dragon defender is now on my account. Finally, wow. Okay, this took a lot longer than I thought it was. Let's see here. 679 it took me to get this. So, yeah, it took quite a lot longer than I thought, but I'm just so happy I finally got it. So I've had around 5 fighter torsos in the past, and every time it has sucked so badly. And I know that there's services out there that let you pay them money and they'll let you leech. You don't have to do anything, you just stand there AFK. They do it all the way, it's like one hour or something. And at the end you get the fighter torso. Now, this comes at quite a premium price. I didn't think it would be as much as it was. Like, how much do you think a fighter torso is worth? If you could buy one in the Grand Exchange, how much would you actually pay for one? Because a Bandos chest plate right now is at like 18 mil roughly, so... How much do you think it would be? 
A fighter torso is pretty much the same as a bandos chest plate in terms of the strength bonus, but you get a lot more defense bonus. So I ended up finding a clan called BA Services, and they'll get you a fighter torso. The regular price is 32 million, but if you're on the regular list, you could wait like 5 days to get your torso, and you have to sit in the clan chat the whole time to wait for your name to be called. Now the premium price was 56 million, and for that, it was estimated that you would get your torso within a few hours. So I went for the premium price, I've been doing rune dragons on my main account, so I've made quite a lot of money when I've been playing on my hardcore. So I wasn't that bothered about spending 56 mil. And these guys pretty much guarantee that you're gonna get your torso within one hour. And it was really, really easy. All they said was, was to camp the left cannon, and then just stay there the whole game, and... I just chilled out. I was watching videos on YouTube, watching streams, chilling out for the hour. It was nothing like the standard Barbarian Assault, where you get to like wave 6, and then someone decides to leave, and you're all sitting in the room, and you all have to go back to wave 1. My standard time for getting a fighter torso, doing it the regular way, was around 5-6 to six hours, so this was a breeze just getting it done in less than 1 hour. And here we are, look at that, 54 minutes and 21 seconds. These guys were lightning fast. I would highly recommend the clan if you want to get a fighter torso and you have the money to spare. And there we go, no more rune plate bodies anymore, we're on the fighter torso from now on. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Sayonara.